What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Continuing on with the PGA Tour series for a special one today because as the title implies, we are playing debatably, in my opinion, probably the most famous, but definitely top three course in the world for the first major of the year, which is of course the Masters Tournament going on from April 11th to April 14th at the world famous Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia. Again, first major of the year. Always um, one of, if not my favorite tournament of the year. Usually marks the um, better weather coming around, which is in fact today. Luckily, this has been um, today and tomorrow are going to be the two nicest days we've had in weeks. As you can probably tell by the net, we've had some pretty severe storms come through here the past couple weeks. Um, so part of this left side of the net kind of came down a little bit. Part of the, uh, it was basically like a metal ring um, that I had at the end of the net, which uh, came apart from the severe wind. So haven't had the time to come out here and uh, fix that yet, but I'm gonna try to keep the, the ball down. We might have a couple that go up and over, but should be all right. Um, about 62 degrees today. Tomorrow's gonna be um, a couple degrees warmer. So if all goes to plan, all goes to plan, for plan, um, gonna play here today and then hopefully come out tomorrow again too but still nursing the uh the side injuries i re-aggravated it working out unfortunately my left side so i haven't hit a club back here purposely in about two weeks just to give myself some extra time to recover so we're gonna see how it goes today expectations aren't super high but do want to play well for a uh, course like this um took my time warming up i didn't hit a ton of shots just because i'm trying to save myself a little bit and um but swing felt good i mean warmer out right now um and i'm bundled up a little bit more overdone than i should be but my goal is to uh keep basically my core abs area um nice and warm get a good sweat going um swing felt nice and smooth was uh again didn't hit a ton of shots but the ones that i did hit um they were going pretty good warmer out so i can swing a little bit quicker ball should be going a little bit further but we'll see how it goes um for the rundown, like usual, everything is linked down below. I'd appreciate it if you guys go check out those Amazon links. Garmin Approach R10 behind me on a DI wide level stand. I actually moved it over like a fraction of an inch and seemed like um, a little bit better reads. We'll see if I'm still, I was fading a couple on the warm up, but we'll see if that's still the case here throughout this round. If I have some that I feel like were more of pull hooks, duck hooks type of lefts and they somehow fade, but we'll see how the spin access goes. Um, so Garmin Approach R10 behind me on a DIY wide level stand, Country Club Elite mat, Callaway Super Fast Balls, um, DIY stance mat, 10 by 7 nets that I need to fix, and Home Tee Hero you're seeing within the Garmin Golf app. So without further ado, first tee shot here, luckily I don't have a bunch of fans lining this uh, tee box and fairway for me to hit, but um, we're going to see how it goes. Still going to try, um, when I was warming up, I was kind of contracting my abs more to kind of stabilize things. I'm gonna to try to do that and try my best not to swing out of my shoes with anything, just so I can not re-aggravate anything and hopefully be able to feel good enough and not super sore where I can come out and play tomorrow. But let's see how this goes. First tee shot here, didn't hit driver to warm up, I usually don't, but see how we do, first tee shot. And that is exactly why I'm not playing this course in real life. That was very high in the face towards the toe. It's gonna to be just kind of a pop up, up the middle, middle-ish right. Not gonna go very far, but again, warmer out, swinging a little bit quicker. That was very horrendous contact, but we got away with it. 262, if I connected on that, that would have been a nice distance-wise opening tee shot, but we'll take that, we're in play. Again, I'm trying to keep my expectations low. Um, probably take me a few holes, maybe the front nine, maybe even this whole round to uh, get the driver swing going back a little bit. But like I mentioned, I hit hit some hit my 60. I always come out, start with wedges. So I went 60, 56, approach wedge, um, a couple pitching wedges, and then a couple nines, and everything felt pretty good. So second shot, 176, up five. What I did want to mention, hopefully. Um, this is the first warmer day with the sun out. I'm hoping nothing overheats, but if you guys remember last summer, I ended up putting my bag and my phone over there to run home to hero just to be out of the sun. I think I'm all right now because it's only, like I said, 60, 65, but um, made me think of it. Warmer weather's around the corner, so may end up having to go back over there into the shade eventually, but hopefully nothing uh, lags or 
basically uh, stops working because of the overheating, but we'll cross that bridge if we get there. 176 up five. So, 181, um, I'm gonna go seven iron. I'm gonna take a little bit off of it. Again, swinging quicker right now just because I'm bundled up more than I need to be and it's nice and warm out. Um, then playing this to about 185 stock. This may be going closer to 190 today, but that eight iron, um, closer to 165-ish, 170, maybe 175, which I don't think it'll quite get there. So going seven, I'm gonna choke down maybe an inch or so. Hit it good. Again, straighter. That sh should fade. That felt like a fade swing. Wow. And it's fading, all right. Good distance. Just overdid it on the fade. I've been debating going back to the fade this year because that is my natural shot shape. That one, I overdid it. That one was definitely, I came across it, but I hit it good, started straight, just faded a little bit too much. So that was a good read from the R10 there. I had some questionable ones the past few rounds, but that one for sure felt a little swipey and overdone. But we got to look here. We got to put this inside the inner circle to save par. 17 yards, down one, and we're in the rough. So 16 plus another 1.7, um, right around 17, 18 yards. This will probably be, for whatever reason, I was I'm striking my irons good these first couple swings. I have a feeling driver and then these wedges, the touch shots, um, are probably going to be my, my biggest issue this round. But we'll see if we can dial up something right around 17. Didn't catch it great. It looks like it would have been fine. It was dead straight. I just caught it a little bit thin. That was going to be a tad short, but it looks like the Garmin didn't get that one. So we got a mulligan. That was hit a little bit better. It's going to be maybe a fraction left, but that should be pretty close. Oh, that was short too. All right, I was worried. My first shot of the day, I hit it. <laughs> I kind of sculled it. First uh, 60 degree when I was warming up, plus two for a bogey. Hopefully we'll get that back. So um, I was worried about some of these touch 10, 15 yard shots. Took a little bit too much off of that one, but we're off with a bogey. Second hole, par five, dog leg left. Nice and narrow, down 14 yards. So let's see if we can kind of connect on one here a little bit and get something out there. Lower on the face, but that's going to be up the right side. That was swipey again. Probably similar distance to the other one. I didn't pop it up as much, so it might actually go a little bit further. 286, again, that was down 14 yards. So, wasn't exactly a 286 yard drive, but got to play the slope as we have it. So, again, we're in play. I think that's two fairways, so. 292 left, again down 14, so um, getting back into it, I experimented, I think it was the last time I was out here with my 3 wood, just because my round was already shot one of those, but I'm going to keep that in the bag I think today and just go um, basically driver, 4 hybrid when I need to for a shot like this and then into the iron, so um, usually play this to about, prime time golf season usually about 240, 250, right around 245 ish. We'll see what we get out of this, but down 14 yards. So we could see if I hit this halfway decent to 60, 65 ish, maybe. Hit it pretty good. Again, contact's been good today. That was dead center of the club face. It's gonna fade, but 
that was pretty square contact. I don't know if it would have faded that much, but it's going to be it down there for sure. 261, so we'll take it. If I do in fact commit and go back to the, the fade, um, basically I've just been thinking about Ben, last year I kind of committed to the draw. I think it's definitely a worthwhile thing if you guys, like I was for the first couple of years playing, no matter what I did, I could not get the ball to go left. So it is good to learn how to eventually get the ball to go both ways when you're really trying to. Um, however, it just feels like I'm always fighting it and I have, for whatever reason, my brain has a tougher time picking out start lines and targets when I'm uh, aiming right and trying to play a draw versus um, my brain, for whatever reason, just works better playing almost a straighter shot with a little bit of a fade. So ideally, I think on course, what I want to go back to this year is play as much of a straight shot as I can. And if I draw one a little bit, it misses 5, 10 yards left. And if I fade one, 5, 10 yards right. But pretty much, hopefully, a little bit more down the middle. At least that's the goal. We're in a decent spot, though. We're in the rough, but we got 55 yards up to and going to be another 5.5 because we're in the rough. So 57 um, brings us up to, what is that, 62. I'm going to go approach wedge. This thing, it's basically my 40, 45 yard club all the way up to about 125. So we're going to see. In my head, I'm going to try to play 55-ish. Should be about that. Hit it kind of hard. We'll see. It was going a little bit left. Yep. Just a tad long left. I'll take that though. Seems like maybe just the R10 likes warmer weather. Seems like for whatever reason I come out here some days the R10 works great. Other days I'm questioning it a lot of the shots. I did move it like I mentioned so between the warmer weather maybe the R10 is just having a good day and me moving it literally like a fraction of an inch. Um, those have been some pretty good reads so far. The ones that I thought were gonna fade and I came across a little bit faded that one I felt like started a little bit left a slight little pull and it did that so so far so good. Looks like we parred it so third hole par four. Be nice if I can uh, <laughs> actually hit a driver out of the middle of the face. I'm just going to check quick. Again, sun a little bit warmer out. I want to make sure this round does in fact capture and uh, record correctly. So a little Diet Coke and camera check. Looks like we're good. All right. Low Healy up the left. I don't know if you guys saw that on your end, but that was a bit of a stutter and a lag there. I don't know if this phone's getting overheated at all. I am planning on playing one more after this. I may need to move it, but... It was really, I mean, dead of summer once it gets up. 75 plus in the direct sun is where things start to overheat and not work correctly. You would think right now there's really no wind, but you wouldn't think it would be that hot for things to overheat, but we'll see. Found ourselves in the bunker, 125 up three. So we got 128 and then 20%, we'll call that another 25. So 153-ish. I'm gonna go nine iron. Hopefully it plays close to that 20%. Usually play this to about 155-ish, right in between 150, 160. Could be seeing closer to 160 on a day like today, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, pretty thin and left. Wow, that is Humpty Hero struggling. All right. From how thin I hit that, that should have been a low line drive. That came out pretty soft out of that bunker. 
So we didn't quite make it there. I thought that might have had a chance. If anything, that was going to be long. We came up short. But 18 yards. Got a good look at it here. Going 60 degree. Should be pretty good. Caught it a little bit scuffy on the mat, but that has a chance. Yep. And because of the lag, I could kind of call that out. I knew that was going to be good. That is always a pleasant surprise when you chip it in. Birdie, we will take that all day long. I think that brings us back to even. Hopefully, <laughs> this thing records correctly. All right. Even through three, fourth hole, part three, 240 down 11. So that brings us to 229. Um, I'm gonna go four iron. We'll see what happens. Again, any of you new viewers out there, um, irons, still somewhat new to me. Only a couple months since I got these. Um, combo set, it's a P790 and a P770 combo set. I go four, five, and six, P790 and then seven through approach wedge air, P770s. Low launch, hit it decent, that's probably gonna fade again. And fade it is. I feel like I'm back to where I was a couple years ago. Hit it halfway decent though. I think that's gonna be manageable. Again, if I somewhat start playing more towards that, I think I can straighten that out a bit. Started just a tad more left. Um, the longer clubs, I'll probably have to shut the face down, release my hands a little bit better. But, um, all right, we're gonna put this inside the inner circle to save par. 26, down one, um, 10%. So, 25, we need 27 and a half to be exact. Would have liked to play this round after uh, having some good golf out here, playing a little bit more frequently, but because of the injury situation and whatnot, kind of is what it is. Not expecting, like I mentioned at the beginning, super great score here, but we're managing so far. It's 56 here, playing just shy of 30. Hit it pretty good. That may be a little bit on the long side, closer to 35, yeah. That was about what I wanted though. Just put a little bit too much on it, but we'll take it. Unfortunately, a bogey, so as it usually goes back here, get a stroke back, give one right back, but brings us to back to one over on the round so far. Fifth hole, par four. If I can, maybe I need to slow things down a bit with the driver, square things up a little bit more. Fifth hole, part four, four, seven, six. Dog leg left. Fading most of the stuff, so I may start aiming just a tad left on some of these. What is that, up four yards? So, play four yards shorter for wherever I hit this, as opposed to a completely flat fairway. That was better. Still a bit of a low launch. It's gonna start it straight, fade up the right, but that should be 260 is 270, I think, on the rollout. We'll see. Eh, not quite. Landed soft and rolled back. That's kind of strange. It must be a pretty big hill there. Usually you don't see a ton of that ball physics type of rollout. Weird bounces in home to hero. I wonder if there was a update or something. That one usually they, especially around the green without putting, is usually uh pretty forgiving they kind of hit and they're pretty generous on some of the rollouts and how they finish um, usually you don't see that like I said usually it lands and then it rolls out a good especially if you hit the fairway 10 15 yards that one kind of hit and just rolled sideways not bad though we'll take that um, second shot 231 hmm I'm gonna try the four iron again see if I can square it up a little bit better I think right now with the warmer weather I think four hybrid I'd have to choke down too much, kind of a weird shot, be too much club, so. Four iron, it is. I'm 
not as good contact on that one. It's not going to be terrible, but it's going to fade again. Got to look at it. 213 on a miss hit, though. That was a bit low, a bit healy. Twenty-five. Wasn't really planning on coming out here. Maybe I need to try to play more of a draw and just strain things out. Wasn't really planning on the whole fade thing, but got talking about it. All right, twenty-five down one. Um, kind of in between. We'll go fifty-six. Kind of in between. I like playing that sixty. Basically, ideally, fifteen twenty yards and under, and I like going to this. 56. I have my 30 yard shot pretty good dialed in here, so I'm gonna take a little bit off of it. I need 24. Should be pretty close. Came out kind of low. It looks like I didn't ground the club enough behind, unless it's gonna go late. But looks like we're going to get another chance at that. That would have been decent. I would have taken that. A little bit scuffy. Higher launch, but should be a pretty similar result. Go, 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 go. All right, take that. Plus one for a par. All right, one over through five, sixth hole par three, 180 down eight, 172. Um, let's try the eight iron. Should be, if I hit it halfway decent, should be enough to get to the front side of the green. Healy. Hit it halfway decent though. If it gets over that bunker. Or not. 163. Thought that would have got there. But that was pretty heel side. Whew. It's getting warm though. I'm gonna got a sweat going, which is good, but. 17 yards up one. We'll go 60. Need 18. Gotta get this close. Save par here. Oh, the warmer weather, the gnats or mayflies are out. One just flew into my eye. It's gonna be decent. It's gonna be a tad left. Should be inside the inner circle. And just a little bit short. Caught that a little bit scuffy. So, so far, pretty. I don't think there's been a single. Well, maybe that eight iron a little bit, but I would say almost every single shot, if not every shot, has been dead on from the R10. So, good read so far. Seventh hole, par four. Still one over. Four, four, nine. Narrow fairway. We gotta put something straight out there. A little bit better. Low line drive up the left should fade back, I think. Eh, it's just staying out there. Low line drive up the left. Two fifty-seven missed the fairway. We're in the rough. One ninety-three up five plus. We'll call it twenty yards because we're in the rough again. Um, this one happens to be the same, but 
um, for any of you new viewers out there. Um, the 10% of the roof and the, and the 20% of the bunker is of the total amount on the top left with that flag. That's the total amount of the hole. This one happens to be the same, but um, the 10% is what's left of the hole, not the recommended shot. So all I have to say, it's gonna play. Again, this one's the same, but it's gonna play 20 yards. I need to put an extra 20 yards on it. So, um, four iron again. Haven't hit this many four irons in a while. Then Healy started pretty far left. That may hit a tree, but if it doesn't, it may end up being decent. Huh. That was one, 195? I don't know. It was definitely low, but all these strikes have been halfway decent. I'm kind of surprised that one didn't get a little more distance on that. All right, 19, just in the rough. Or just outside the bunker, I should say. 19, up one, so 20, 22. We'll go 60. It's gonna be a little bit left. Hopefully I didn't put too much on it. Should be decent though. Landed soft. Is that a plus one or a plus two? It's right on the border. Plus one, all right, that works. Pars at a course like this, I'll take it. I don't think I mentioned at the beginning, usually a course like this, um, there's a ton of different tee box options. They'll have, I've seen as much as like eight or 10 tee boxes, but for whatever reason, this one only had, um, it was a member's tee box. It was only one single tee box. So I'm assuming these are similar distances and tees that the pros are playing. Um, we'll see. I actually had something fun planned, a little bit different for this one, but you guys will have to stay tuned for next week's video um, for a little bit of a, a different tweak on the PGA Tour series. Eighth hole, par five, still one over. Um, 563. Let's aim a little bit left right there. Relatively happy how I'm hitting it so far, so I don't want to really start changing and tweaking stuff, but I can feel myself. I want to work on that a little bit, almost a Scotty kind of shuffle a little bit, but almost feel like you're kind of jumping kind of up and back a little bit through it. I can feel myself doing that a little bit, but I think that's kind of exaggerating the, the swipe across a little bit. Neighbor's got his motorcycle out, if you can hear that. All right, probably the best face-wise strike. It's gonna fade up the right, and it's not gonna go very far into that rough, but carried it about 250, rolled out to 260 into the rough. A little bit better there. Three oh three. All right, we got nothing in the bag. Even if I teed it up, that would get there. Especially considering, like I was talking about last time, three oh three, and we're in the rough. So we need another thirty yards, and it's up fifteen. So I'm just going four hybrid, and hopefully have something into this green. Club twisted when I hit that. It's gonna be up the left. Dead on read from the Garmin again. That was Healy and the club face twisted when I hit that. All right, we gotta strain things out here a little bit. At least it's par five. 127 up eight, and we're in the rough again. So what is that? 135 plus 13, 145, 148. Gonna go nine iron, slightly choked down. 
Don't need to take a ton off of it though. Pretty thin, but straight. Again, playing a little bit of that fade. Should be on the green, front right side. And it is. Not the prettiest hole in the world, but we got a par. All right, ninth hole. Would like to, if we can get out of here with par on this hole, go into the back nine, one over, maybe strike it a little bit better on the back nine, finish somewhere around even would be pretty nice. Ninth hole par four, 427, dog leg left, very narrow. We're gonna aim slightly left right there, down 11 yards, which will help, so just gotta, more importantly than bombing one out there, just gotta keep it relatively straight. Try to catch a piece of this fairway, either left or right. Swiping way across it. So that's going to be right rough. Maybe into the trees. Come back a little bit. Alright. Hit it halfway decent. It's just started right and stayed right. 281 on that one. Again, swing for not hitting a club in two weeks. I was able to kind of rest up and heal. Swing feels quicker than it has been the past really couple months. But it's just... Again, think to strain out a little bit, but we'll take that all day long on that drive. 180, up seven, and we're in the rough. So 187 plus 18 is what? 197, 205. Um, I'm gonna go six iron. Been playing this to about 200-ish. When it's colder out, not hitting it good, close to 190, this. If I hit it halfway decent, we could see like 210-ish, but we'll see. Hopefully, I'm looking for something around 200 would be good. Better strike. Gonna fade again, but that should have the distance to get there if it catches the green. Wow. I guess because I'm fading it, Garmin's taken off that distance for that spinnier shot to the right, but that felt like a pretty good strike. Kind of surprised we didn't get that there. 19, up one, feeling 60. I like that swing though, I think in general. Obviously I'm overcooking them right, but I've been striking them halfway decent and I think I can adjust for that and play that a little more consistently than trying to do um i mean people say anywhere from 75 to like 90 percent of golfers naturally slice and or fade the ball so that's natural shot shape and swing for a lot of people and it is for me as well so i envy those people that naturally hit a draw but instead of it just feels like instead of me fighting that constantly to try to work the ball right to left um just to kind of go it feels a little bit more natural and try to dial things in from there let me know in the comments if you guys have switched back and forth with shot shapes. Hit it good, but I might have put too much on it. It's going to be on the green, but it might be outside the yep, circle. So that's going to be a bogey, unfortunately. So I think that takes us to two over going into the back nine. Not too bad, though. I'll take that. I'm hoping... Get a couple strokes back, like I mentioned. I'm just happy to be out here at this point, so I can shoot 20 over, and I'll be fine with it for a day like today. All right, 10th hole, par 4. 255, down 22. Dog leg left. We're going to have to start it here, and let's see what happens. As long as I get it, I uh, guess we'll go that way. Right there, corner of the tree. If I get it, up and over or around that first pine tree right there 
with a halfway decent swing, we're going to be out there. So, Low on the face, but that's gonna be a lot straighter. Started a bit, oh, we caught the tree. Started a bit left. Where was that swing? I mean, even despite that, we hit the tree and we still got 267 because it was a lot of down slope. If we didn't catch that tree, that could have been close to 300 with the slope. I needed that swing the past couple holes, unfortunately. That was exactly what I wanted to do, is just got unlucky with starting it just a tad too far left, but that would have been pretty straight. We're in play though, dead center of the fairway. 219, down 14, so 205, going back to the six iron. Ball's moving on the mat. Well, that one's gonna draw, but that's kind of a duck hooky left. Straining out though, go. That's closer. I mean, I hit that one good again. That's a good six iron right there for sure. Thought that one felt more hooky and that one kind of faded back a little bit more than I thought it should have, kind of similar to what I was seeing the past few rounds. So a little bit with a lucky result there, but we'll take it. At least that was a good six iron. That was a well struck one. Um, two over, 11th hole par four, four, nine, seven. Dog leg right. Kind of got a little bit of a two way, definitely hitting it a little more to the right side. So we'll go left, down 11 yards. Let's see if I can put a similar swing on what I just did last time. Get something out there, no trees at least immediately to contend with. <sighs> Again, a little greedy trying to swing too much at it. That was not hit great up the left. Trying to strain things out, overcompensated. Don't be a penalty. All right. It's gonna be an interesting shot out of here, but at least it's not a penalty from the trees. All right, what are we looking at here? Are we right, we're under a tree. I think, are we next to it? I think I'm just gonna leave it. I don't even wanna to touch it. I mean, I think we're to the right of the tree. Sometimes it's tough to tell. It looks like when you're right near it or underneath it, the trunk of the tree gets like transparent. So I think we're just in front to the right of it by the looks of it, who knows? I could hit this and it'll go like five yards, but um, 245 to the hole. We got water left, so I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, so 245 to the hole, and then 10%. It's gonna be another 25 on top of that. So I'm just gonna hit four hybrid out of here. If I uh, catch this tree off the first one, I'll probably have to take my medicine, but we're gonna see if I can punch something up there with the four hybrid and hopefully get out of this tree trouble. Oh, that was very heavy and started left. We'll see. All right, we got through it. Pretty poor strike. I hit about an inch behind that. Got to look at it though. That was probably the worst strike today. 57, down two, and we're in the rough. So, 55, plus we'll call it six. Need 61 here, going approach wedge. This thing has a tendency to play, get up and away from me on the long side. So in my head, I'm gonna play 50-55. A 
a little bit pulley. It'll be on the green, but it's going to be left side. I mean, that's exactly what happened. That's a good read again from the Garmin. Not the best shot in the world, but good read. That's all I'm looking for, though. Like, if this, if these could be the type of reads I get every single time, which for the most part it is, it's just um, when I'm either hitting it good or hitting it bad, I really want the Garmin to reflect it. I don't want to feel like I, the past couple rounds when I was out here a few weeks ago, there were some shots I hit pretty poorly, and for whatever reason, the Garmin may have missed it or something. It was reading straighter. It almost feels like you get bailed out, but if I'm trying to improve like I am, um, you want to you wanna know when you're hitting it good and hitting it bad not get bailed out but all right three over 12 hole par three 156 down five so we got 151 i'm going nine iron and i'm just gonna hit this full so if i hit it full and i hit it good it's gonna be a little bit too much but considering we got water short i'm fine if we're back side of the green or even long off the back of the green That's gotta go. That was thin and healy. Go, 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 go. All right. Got it there. It's not on the green. Is that gonna give us a plus two or no? Plus two, all right. Tiny little green there. Not the best strike. Um, felt like I got bailed out a little bit on that, but I did hit it pretty hard. It just wasn't a very centered strike, so. 13th hole, par five. You can feel still a little bit in that twisting motion obliques, a little bit of tightness coming in. So, gonna try to dial things back just a little. It feels so fun though. I haven't hit, hit balls out here in a while, and it's so nice and warm. It makes you just want to go after stuff. 13th hole, par five, 266 right there. Pretty substantial dog leg left. So, we're gonna aim there. Or, I guess, eh, we'll go there. I don't know, we get kind of a two-way miss going. Definitely more right side and fading it more, but overcorrected sometimes trying to strain it out. We end up up the left side. Low in the face, but better. That should be left side of the fairway. Yep. Not terrible. Still not a centered strike, but I did order a couple things online. I don't want to ruin the surprise and probably eventual video I'm going to do, but I did order a couple things to hopefully help out with the driver a little bit. You guys can take some guesses down below if you think you know possibly what it is, but I'm hopeful with that going forward with the driver. It just seems like since I've had this thing, I have a tough time squaring it up consistently. All right, this is a tricky shot here. So we got 222. It's not the furthest shot in the world, but we got that water protecting the screen. So what am I going to hit here? Four iron, but I have to hit it really good. And if I fade it and come up short, it's wet. Um, so I'm going to go for hybrid and there's a potential. I'm just going to hit this full because there's a lot of room. There's a bunker back there. Um, I just don't want to be penalty into that water. So again, if I hit this halfway decent, 240-ish, 245 or so, um, I'll take being backside of the green, even off the back of the green as opposed to being wet. So see what we can do here. Struck it decent, but I pulled it left. It might be off the trees. All right. Definitely a pull. Hit it halfway decent, though. 239, we're dry. Again, playing out here consistently, middle of the summer. I wanted to have been very happy with that, but I'll take that for a day like today. We're in play, we're dry. 
27 yards, down one, 10%. So 26 plus another two, three yards. Um, call it 29, 30, going 56. Let's see, my 30 yard shot here is still somewhat dialed in. Ah, heavy, club face was open. It's gonna be on the green, but. Kind of drop kicked it. All right, <laughs> swing's going a little bit downhill. We got a par, but we're a little bit more all over the place than we were on the front nine. 14th hole, par four. Probably gonna be on the longer side here. I keep checking the camera, but. I'm just enjoying being out in the nice weather, so maybe a little bit on the longer side of the video. I'm not exactly rushing through this, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can actually hit a good drive. Uh, 14th hole, par 4, 434. better it's gonna be pretty straight still not the center of the club face but it was closer I would play that all day long in real life and back here tried to slow down the back swing just a tad on that it seemed like it helped all right good tee shot there let's see if we can capitalize 171 up three 174, it's gonna have to be seven iron. It's gonna be too much club, so I gotta choke down, but I don't think eight iron. Eight iron, huh? Eight iron will get to the front, I think, but let's choke down the seven. Hit it decent, a little bit healy. May need to get down. Land soft, land soft, land soft. Yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes you choke down, you hit it as good, if not better. Good swing though, that's a good miss. 285, choke down seven. That was pretty well struck this time of year. Again, middle of the season, primetime golf. I would've been pretty upset about missing it long. We're not super far off the back, but um, that was kind of an in-between number, unfortunately. Honestly, if I struck that seven, like I, um, or if I struck the eight, just like I hit that seven, the eight would have got there, but 15 yards, we're in the rough. Need about 17. Those are the type of shots, though, that make you want to play again and come back. That was a good swing there. Drop kicked it again, and it was probably a yard or two right. that go in or did it stay out? Yeah, it stayed out. I knew it was gonna be a fraction to the right. That probably, that came out a little bit straighter than it felt on the net, but that was dead on the money distance wise. So again, about as good as a miss as you can ask for there. Three over through 14, 15 pole, par five. Feels like we're kinda gaining some ground. Score doesn't necessarily reflect that, but hitting things a little bit better. 272 right there. Are we up five or down five? Up five. So whenever I hit this, it's gonna play five yards shorter. A little bit low, a little bit healy. Swiped across that, so it's gonna be up the right side, or at least it should. Eh, it kinda is. Relatively straight, actually, but this is a wide fairway. I'll take it. Straining things out at least a little bit.
All right, we got water again. We got trees. 254 to this hole. So I would have to pull the three wood, and I may not even get there, especially with those trees. Well, it's down 11. Hmm. This is decision time. So it's 254, but it's down 11. So that brings us to 243. Do I hit the four hybrid? There's water there. I shouldn't. I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go here. I'm going to play 198, down 11, even a little bit shorter than that. So, um, what is that? 188, 187. Realistically, I want closer to 180. We're just going to go 7. <laughs> this hurts the ego to do, and just the grip it and rip it type of mentality I usually have, but this is the better play. There's a chance I get it there with a well-struck 4 hybrid, but we're just going to hit a 7 up there. That one was toey. It's going to be left. I may flirt with those trees, but should be down before the water. We're right in the middle. That's all we needed. We'll take that. As long as I don't, what's it called, chili dip? Basically lay the sod over this uh, wedge shot here. That was a good play. So as long as we get up and over this water. Six, or 59 down one so 58 going approach wedge just gonna again in my head play about 50 55 toey again sit 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 that's been what I've been talking about with this club. Comes out hot sometimes when I don't feel like I'm swinging very hard. That went 68. It's about over 10 yards too much from what we were looking for, but that was a strange strike. Par though, so we'll take it. All right, 16th hole, par three, 170. Let's try it. Play conservative last time, this one. I've been hitting that seven iron decent, so that's gonna be too much club. So we're going eight iron, and I gotta hit this good to get it there. So, played conservatively last last hole. This one, a little bit risky with the eight iron club selection here, but see what we can do here. Oh, I chunked it and hit it left. Go, 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 wet. <sighs> that sucks. Well, it takes the eight iron out of my hand, I think. I thought we were gonna have to re tee, but it moved us up. So now we got 140. Um, we're gonna go choke down nine. That sucks. We're gonna have the best score going, but that's definitely gonna hurt. I can need like a hole in one here off the drop. Choke down nine. That was hit way better. That may actually be too long. That was dead center of the club face. That might be 150-ish. Another one of those. Maybe I should just choke down every time. Yeah, 150, 151. Stayed on the green, luckily, but maybe I should just <laughs> choke down on everything. I was watching... Uh, Anthony Kim, I think that's his name, um, dude that went over to live after a long hiatus of golf. He chokes down a lot. I know Tommy Fleetwood chokes down too, but it seems like more often than not when I do choke down, I end up hitting it as good, or I hit it, make better contact, and I hit it almost as far, if not sometimes further. That was a well, really well struck choke down nine. I was only trying to play 140-ish, and he got closer to 150. Five over, two holes left. 17th hole, par four. 436, up 9. Well, a little bit higher score-wise than I wanted to be with two holes left, but it is what it is. We've hit some good shots.
Oh, oh man. That's about as low and as left. Kick out. You gotta love it. 157 off the tee. I should have hit my nine. That was so low on the face, and I released that way too much. That was just dead left as soon as I hit that. Oh boy. Well, poor hybrid. Let's see what we can do. 279. And it's up 9 too. Love it. Well, so if I hit this 240. It's gonna play 30 yards less, so it's only gonna get 210 out of it. But, let's see what happens. A little bit scuffy, low left. As long as it clears those trees, it should be decent. Oh, uh, stay in the fairway. 180 into the rough so that was only 210 falling apart here down the stretch amen corner should have been doing my prayers i guess going into this 99 in the rough so we need 110 approach wedge this is uh, another field shot so 75-80% I think is around 115. So I'm going to play it about that. Or thereabouts. I may need to end up getting an extra wedge in between this approach wedge and my pitching wedge to kind of build a gap a little bit better instead of hitting this club from so many different distances. Toey and I popped it up. We'll see what happens. Going right at it. That works. I do consider that lucky, but that was a good swing. So that was one of those ones where you hit it, you don't know about it, and it ends up being good. That was more of just a result of a good swing and kind of got lucky versus a lucky R10 read. But. All right, 18th hole here, par four, five over. Let's see if we can get a par or a birdie. Narrow finishing hole here. Poor strike, but it was straight-ish. Started up the right, should strain out a little bit. Should catch the fairway, it's not gonna be very far, but. All right, we're in play. We got trees to contend with again. 197 up 14. So, what is that, two? 211. Let's try the five iron. I haven't hit this yet today. I think prime time, summer, middle of the golf season. I think this is going to be 215 ish, 220 type of club if I hit it good. I think. Struck it good, but it was a low launch. We'll see if it gets over those trees. Nope. Man, that was dead straight too, and it was right at it, and I hit it good. It was just a little bit too low of a launch with those trees. Another one of those good misses, if there is such a thing. I'll take that though. That was a good swing, good contact. Trees are doing me dirty this round. All right, bunker shot to hopefully, oh no, we're not in the bunker. Rough shot to hopefully finish it. So we got 25 up one and we're in the rough. We right about 30, going 56.
Should be decent, it was good contact, but I didn't ground the club enough before. Shorn my backswing a little bit on that. Gonna have to do it again. That would have been decent. I will take that again, if I can do that. Now it felt a little bit stabbier. It's gonna be on the long side too, I think. Put a little bit too much on that. Yep, it was right at it, just a little bit too much. All right, what is that, a bogey? Yeah, all right, take a look at this. So, from the world famous, in my opinion, top three, may even be the most famous, most recognized. I mean, I would think for me it would be this, TPC Sawgrass and Pebble Beach. I'm not exactly sure of the order, but for me, I think those are probably the most recognizable, well-known courses. But um, from Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, home of the first major of the year, which is, of course, the Masters Tournament, um, April 11th through 14th, we ended up with a 6 over 78. So kept it in the 70s, 38 on the front, 40 on the back, fell apart a little bit. That 16th hole hurt. Um, despite driver being a little bit of a struggle, or a lot on some of them. Eight out of 14, we'll take that over 50%. Only four out of 18 greens in regulation, thanks to the uh, fady slice swing that was going on. 26 putts, not too bad. Forgot to mention too, uh, in substitute of my green jacket, I got my green hat on today, but all in all, not the best score-wise, not the best performance, but hit some good shots in there. Pretty happy with how I played all in all for not hitting a club in uh, almost two weeks. Again, purposely to try to rest up but I feel pretty good I'm gonna reset things here play one more um, hopefully I don't do any type of damage to the point where I can still come out tomorrow probably will be feeling sore tomorrow and not be able to hit it quite as good um, quite as far on some of these but as long as I can rest up and be able to come out here and swing a club again tomorrow I think we're looking good I just wanted to the best that I could take as much time off in between the last time to really heal up and not have lingering issues all throughout this golf season. I want to try my best to kind of heal things up with my oblique twisting motion type of stuff I have going on to where I'm good and I can uh, play out this entire season without having that in the back of my head or re-aggravating things. But 6 over 78, we'll take it from Augusta. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, really appreciate it if you guys check out the links down below in the description, those Amazon links. Um, Wrapping things up, like I always say, um, really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.